So Figma is still getting new updates and features, which is amazing to see. Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're diving into some of the newest features in Figma. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, we have sections now. So right here is the frame icon. If I click the drop down, you'll notice we have a new tool called section. The shortcut for this is shift S. So if I click on that, I can drag out a new section. And you can notice in my layering over here, everything is grouped under this section one. I can double click to give it a name. I'll just call it weather icons section. And now I can move this around. I can change the size of this. I can even adjust the stroke and the fill on this if I would like it to be a different color. So I'll just make it a lighter gray. A few things to note here is this is a top level element, meaning it cannot be contained inside anything. It can hold frames inside of it and groups, but it cannot be a part of those. So this cannot be a child of really anything. So down here at the bottom, I have this nice auto layout frame for these icons. And if I hit shift S, I can drag a section around that, but I cannot add a frame around that section. You'll see it just does not go inside of there. It refuses. So it is a top level element. And finally, you can actually share just a section. So I've just clicked on that and I can share the section and it will literally link to this selected section. And finally, if you want to delete a section with it selected either in your layers panel or just by clicking on the name, you can hit delete and it deletes that and all of its contents. So these are pretty useful for organizing your design files and maybe you're handing something off to a developer. You can throw your frames inside of a ready to develop section and your developer will know that this is the section they need to focus on in your entire Figma file. So instead of just having pages and frames to organize, we now have sections thrown in the mix. A quick new feature is some new frames. So when you hit F on the keyboard or you go up to frame in the toolbar, there is some new ones such as the iPhone 14, the iPhone 14 plus and so on. I believe there is a new MacBook and a new TV. So if we go and just click on those, we can throw those into our files really quick and nicely sized for us in frames. A pretty awesome new feature that we've been waiting for for a while is adding video to prototypes. So now if you select an element like this rectangle here and you go to fill underneath the image, we now have video as an option. Some things you need to know for the video format, it must be an MP4. It cannot exceed 30 megabytes in size. And I don't believe they are currently supported in the Figma mobile app. And I'm just going to assume that that will probably be something they add later, but I'm not sure. So this is a type of fill. Of course, we can adjust a few things here as well as we can rotate the video if we would like. We can also select a fill to a fit or we can set a crop or even tile, for example. So you have all of your normal fill options since this is a fill layer. So I'll just choose a video. So I've just grabbed one of the only videos that I have that's under 30 meg at the moment. And when we go to the prototype tab, we can now see that we have video. It's set to autoplay by default. Here is the looping option. So we can turn that off if we don't want it to loop. And I'm gonna turn off the audio since I don't want to play in the video. I'm gonna hit play here. And you can see my video is playing here when I'm previewing my design, which is pretty awesome. And so of course, with videos, you can add these into advanced prototypes, which adds so much more functionality to Figma. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. I'm gonna leave two links down in the description to two Figma resources that go over things like Fig Jam and some awesome new features over there, as well as some smaller things that I didn't mention in today's video. If you're interested in learning all about Figma, check out the links in the description. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you get a like, subscribe for more Figma and design related content every single week. Check out these design related videos in the meantime. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.